Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Siddharth Hazra and today we would be discussing top k frequent elements in an array. So the intuition of the problem is quite easy. Like we can think of a solution, but having an hold over the comparators is the main question here. What is comparators? We would talk about it. So here it is told that we need to find the top k elements. What do you mean by top k elements? Elements with the highest frequency. Okay. So we need to sort the elements based on frequency. Based on frequency. This is what we need to basically do at this point. Okay. And then return the elements. If let's say 3 also has a frequency 3 and 4 also has a frequency 3 then 4 ne needs to be preferred among 3. Okay. So we can understand that we need to sort the values based on frequency. This is the very first reason. And the very next thing is after that based on the value it holds. Okay. We need to sort on the basis of two things, not just one. Okay. So the very first thing we can do is we can simply keep a count of all the elements. Like, yes, this number one has appeared two times. This number three has appeared three times. This number four has appeared four times. And we can make a pair. Okay. Right, let's talk about the very first sample test case. Here in the second sample test case, here one has appeared two times and 2 has appeared 2 times and 3 has appeared 3 times and 4 has appeared once. Uh, so the top two elements, top two elements would be that this is the very first top element that is 3 and the next top element is 1 and 2 both but we would take prioritize on 2. So we want 2 also. Okay, this is what we want. But how to basically do this? So we can have something like this. If the values are less than equal to 10 to the power 5, we would be using an array for hashing. Else we can simply use a map to hash the values. So this can be done. What is the implementation of this? So basically we would declare an unordered map. We would iterate on each of the values and we would increment the count. Now comes the part. And we would be dumping all of the counts in a vector of pairs. Like we would have something like this. Now the question is sorting based on frequency and value. So what we can do is we can use something like comparators. Okay, comparators. What is this basically comparators? Comparators are special features. Like let's say what are comparators? Comparators are nothing. Let's say cooking orders I can say suppose I told that can you make paneer do piazza he said yes so then I told that can you lower down the spiciness of the recipe and then I also thought of some few minutes and then I told can, can you lower down the salt a little bit and he said yes so these small instructions apart from the primary instruction can be also given to the sorting thing and this whole thing can be done by using something known as comparators. So what I would say to the comparators is, I would say that prioritize, okay, p dot first is the element itself. See, this is the element and this is the frequency. So this is termed as second, pair of second, this is first. So first, what I should prioritize? First, I should prioritize the frequency. So I would say, return p let's say p1 and p2 let's say p1 and p2 is there so i want p1 to be ahead of p2 when p1 dot second that is frequency of p1 is more than p2 dot second this is the first condition i would give the very next condition I would give is that when I want P1 to be before P2, after frequency, when P1 dot first is greater than P2 dot first. 
if i write these two conditions then it would be absolutely easy so i would just say if p1 is greater than p2 dot second return true else if this is true return true so now we i would just write the compare function so let us write the compare function or let's write the second condition first if p1 dot second is equals to equals to p2 dot second if the frequency is same then i want p1 then return p1 dot first greater than p2 dot first like if this is true return true else it would automatically be returned false if this is not the condition then the frequencies are different so we would simply like return p1 dot second greater than p2 dot second and this is done okay so if the frequency is same we would implement this the frequency is not same we would implement this this is what i would written now let us just compile and see how many errors are we making seems correct now let us submit this and see if we can get an ec or not and yes we got an ac so time complexity of this is that we have implemented first hashed the values that is big o of n if it is an unordered map if it is a ordered map like simple map itself then it is log n multiplied by n added to we are again sorting and that is n log n so the time complexity lies as n log n ignoring the constant and the space complexity is also big o of n because every f every elements is unique that's it for today thank you and have a nice day